spotted by Holy Baptism. Man, how do you even stop that? How do you even charge up your Numenum Blast? But anyways, I'm hyped. If Lilia is the key, if Lilia wins it for RSG, making sure that they're still in the game, then again, Moonton, make this hero better, buffer up, revamp, I want to see more Lilias. Oh, yeah. sorry, Lolita. Lolitas! Yeah, no. Lilia is actually a foil to Lolita. Now, mm -hmm. you, now we mention it. So there's that in interaction as well. Well, let's get straight into the game. Onyx Philippines with match point. Will they be able to close it out right here? Or will the host team, RSG Singapore, pull it back? Lolzi already doing a lot of damage onto Hatred with that follow from Sana. Taking Hatred really, really low, forcing the regeneration early on. Right now, looking at the goalie, we can see that the Clint is already seeing who is at mid, and he doesn't want to leave. He's just going to stay down there, and he's just going to uh, farm very, very safely. So right now, Audit Philippines, in a way, they've already won that lane just because of that matchup. Yep, so that's bottom lane, right? Let's talk about mid. There's so much money in mid. There's so much that need the funnel, right? We've seen the funnel strategy from about oh. two years in ML history. We just mentioned gold lane. Onyx PH got it on lock. Let's now talk about mid again. Onyx PH, that's where they want to put their money. It's all on Nathan, it's all on Hatred, and then Beloise is just going to babysit him. You know, I want to go back to the gold lane a little bit here because, again, it is a first blood. You actually faced this Lilia oh, in yeah. the gold lane yesterday. Tell me why it's so hard and why even pro players struggle to do this. But wait a minute, Larsky is already going for a duel. And in the jungle of, R of Onyx, RSG already making moves here, but instant response from Onyx. Lolzi goes in for a stun, but only onto Beloisky. A little bit of a mishap, perhaps. But yes, back onto that gold lane. Yeah, the reason why it's so difficult going up against this Lilia, number one, she outranges you. She can deal damage and you can't. That's a good trait over there. And at level one, you have two skills. There's a lot of combination there. So in a way, you just win a lot in level one. Okay, let's see what happens here again. It is already five seconds left until the first turtle spawns in RSG. Right now, they do have some pressure, but not for the waves. And Lolzi already missing out on that. It's going to be Kyrie waiting in the bush. And there we go. The entropy has been used. It's going to be LY4 dealing with a lot of damage. But look at the comeback. Look at the plays by Onyx. Just waiting it around and using the abilities to their maximum potential. Picking up a 1-4-1. One one. Tempo-wise, I'd say Onyx came out uh, the winner there. They do have a better positioning when it comes to the turtle take. And this run-in by Diablo, not going to be good for him. He doesn't have his ult. He has a flicker, yes. But just like that, two for one, uh, two for one yes, in that first engage. Still, Onyx looking like they can take this turtle really easy. Yeah, very easy at that, but wait a minute, it might not be that easy. RSG, they're looking to contest with only four members here. Let's see, with the help of the running low, it's actually going to be not... Dude, Kyrie wasn't there. The turtle would be slain, but yeah. Larsky, he wants to go for the re-engage right now with the fallout coming in. Lolzi, will he be able to survive? He's going to get taken down, but Onyx, they find something back even though RSG got the turtle. Yeah, looking at that last team fight, Onyx Philippines, they weren't really sure whether they want to commit or not. And that's where RSG, they, they caught him sleeping. They went ahead and grabbed the turtle for themselves. But looking at the damage, Onyx Philippines is looking very good. They're looking at that Lolita. Once the shield is down, they're just going to go straight in. That's a good trade, I'd say. Just give up the turtle. RSGSG, LY4 not going to be able to use it much because slowly the firepower on this mid money lineup is building up. Even LY4 has to think twice, even with Lolzi, if he's able to dive this bush that has the three members of Onyx in it. So yeah, I, I think slowly, this 1k gold lead, almost 2k, will, will slowly grow and look at this. Hatred knows. Oh, oh the damage, LY4! Oh my god, he almost one-shots Hatred. He knows, but he didn't know. He knows, but he didn't know. But wait a minute, it's gonna be actually Dorsky caught in the midst of it all. The falling star moon to end it all. And RSG, they found two out of nowhere. Kyrie though, he's right there for the backup. Will he go to the bottom side? It looks like he won't. He's just gonna give it up. It's it's back to back not knowing, right? Mm -hmm. Marky and Delarski also got surprised there. Yeah, but oh my god, Kyrie needs to be careful. The oh! damage! Oh my god! That is insane! LY4 with this Paquito. We saw it in the group stages and now we see it again. The impact, man. The thing is, he hasn't completed his item just yet. He's going for the War Axe. It's not completed. Once it is, it's gonna be a very tough time for the backline from the side of Ani Philippines to actually sustain this damage. However, I do feel like Ani Philippines, in terms of controlling the game, they, they still have the advantage, especially Beatrix in mid can clear the lane much faster than, than Matilda. So theoretically, any kind of rotation, Onyx will be there first. Yep. 
initiative on the side of Onyx VH, but I must commend LY4. I am loving that he's in his comfort. I'm loving that he has a hero that is both self-sustaining and is a killing machine on its own. I think that's the problem with the Balmond earlier. He had to have Onyx VH make a mistake to overcommit and get eaten up by that lethal counter. This time around, he's so comfortable in his skin. Oh, but they gotta be careful here. Onyx PH realizing that RSG wants to play the bottom side. They instantly rotate to the top side, and Diablo is caught in the 1v4 right now. Let's see if he can run away. He will be, but it is going to be the trade. The turtle for that top Red side team tier has one. I kind of feel like it is worth the trade, but right now, Hatred over there looking very yummy, but LY4 oh. was not there. And this is a problem. The Beatrix just clears the lane much, much easier compared to the Matilda. So in terms of defense as well as offense, Onyx still looking good. The Larsky over here in the bot side of the map. Oh, but wait a minute. It's going to be Onyx again jumping in. Diablo is going to get taken down. A turret will fall as well, but RSG are going to go for engage as well. It is going to be a lot of damage placed. It is still the Vengeance popped in. Larsky is still surviving right now, looking for the outplay. But the damage is just certainly too much for him to handle. Baby Cakes picks up one, but Onyx PH, they've actually found the better trade here. Not only getting that top side turret, but also rotating to the mid lane and splitting their resources in. It is going to be the collapse though. RSG, will they, can they go for more? The answer is no. Honic PH stonks are way up. They could have even forced top lane, but RSGSG, they knew. Across that whole trade, for the turtle and for the kill on Dilarski, Honic PH got two turrets. Those are permanent objectives that will never ever respawn. So yeah, when it comes out to Honic PH's long game, I'm guessing, yeah, this 1k gold lead is not where they want to be, but it is great in the whole grand scheme of things. Yeah, right now, RSG, if they can somehow answer back by getting two turrets up top, maybe they can equalize this a little bit, making sure that they do not have a clear disadvantage when it comes to objectives. Yeah, he's already moving up to the top side, trying to get some turrets out of there. But remember, Onyx PH, they already got the mid lane turret on the bottom side. It is going to be Diablo jumping into two members. Kyrie will just choose to back away for now, as Onyx has just taken another turret. What makes this easy for Onyx is that they oh. have that mid side opened up, but Beloisky's gonna get engaged on right now, and the follow just there, Kyrie has nowhere to go. Actually, he still manages to survive, not for long though. Baby King finds him, and LY4 on the back of it all. He gets one, Klarski is all that is left of Onyx. He's gonna get taken down, and Marky, he has nowhere to go. He's gonna go back away. RSG have found that winning fight. LY4 relentless. He is a predator pugilist on that Bakiro. He hunted down hatred and that was his one job he tunnel visioned into the beatrix and he got the Blue job done oh my goodness lafell what just happened to that team fight Blue rsg team out of nowhere they just turtle. pulled the trigger and onic philippines they crumbled yeah right now we can see that onic philippines in terms of their draft they're really good in terms of actually pushing but team rsg sg they got a good fight in their own jungle because it is such a small space making it very easy for ly4 to actually focus on one one target at a time, oh. and the fact that he managed to get hatred over there, the damage onto the Paquito is very minuscule. But the damage that he himself can dish out, that's amazing. LY4, just like what Leo has said, this is the perfect mix for him. Tankiness as well as damage. Self-sufficient in the jungle, self-sufficient roaming everywhere on the map, and that killer instinct is just all shown here in the game. Already equalizing, not just equalizing, but also actually getting a little bit of the gold lead. But what RSG needs to do right now is keep at it. Use this lead to get more on the board. And right now, they're doing really good in terms of rotations. Maybe not though, because it's actually going to be on a PH going for the bottom side. And this might be a disaster. Sana putting all of their resources to go on to the large and they're losing oh. a lot in that bottom side. They're still trading a huge oh. on the map. Diablo, gonna have to back out here. That's four members, two of them marksmen. Yes, Baby Gate can try to push up top, but the damage is done. Inhibitor pop. Yeah, again, RSG, Sana, he doesn't have to serve the Eagle, but Bloisky is gonna get taken very, very low right there. Still has the only back. Oh. And the turn comes in. LY4 already taken out the buy. I don't think it's wise to go for more, but RSG, they still forced the fight. What is this? It's gonna be a turn right. Oh my. My God, Baby Cakes comes in to turn it all around. Glarski versus Baby Cakes. Will it be the Maniac or will it be Glarski pulling it back? It's gonna be the Kaido way, but Glarski falls back and the triple kill for both of the marksmen for Onik and RSG. 
That was an amazing team fight coming in from both of these teams. And right now, from the side of RSG, they really have to respect the push coming in from Arnie Philippines because, again, they can push very, very hard. They have the Beatrix, they have the Nathan, they also have the Lilia. The Lilia can clear the lanes very, very fast. So, right now, Diablo can't be alone. He can sustain, sure, but he can't clear the lanes fast enough. Looking at the itemization over here, LY4 is looking very strong. Now he just finished his Hunter Strike. If he can somehow flank from behind, Arnie Philippines is in trouble. Yeah, again, Boloiski just gets caught out. He still has the Holy Healing, but not for long. It's gonna be Sana picking up the kill. And now it might be a free Lord to the hands of the hosts. If Onik PH were doing turrets or kills uh, for Turtles earlier on, Lords for the same at this point in the game, 10 minutes oh. in, might not be a good deal. You see that he even charges through the benches, the damage of LY4 as he outplays Marky! Oh my god! Oh. have been wiped out! It's time for RSG to shine! But the decision making on Kyrie, he went up and said, I don't care, I'm going to take this Lord, you are not going to get this, and I think there's still a great window for Onyx PH to defend. We were talking about how RSG have to use the break well, and they used it very well. Right now, from the side of RSG, the thing that I like the most is they actually played the side lanes better. Now they're actually paying attention to Baby Kicks. They're paying attention to Diablo. Baby Kicks right now, 6-1 and 6 score. Plays so good, being able to kite out a lot of damage and able to dish out a lot of damage as well. RSGSG, right now, this is their game to lose. Slowly, this is the passing of the baton from LY4. The first 10 minutes of the game is all about LY4. It was the LY4 show. Now, it's time for Baby Cakes. Baby Cakes grown up. Baby Cakes grew up very, very fast, actually. Adult Cakes. The triple kill. What? Adult Cakes? Sure, why not, right? Sure, why not? It is Adult Cakes now. Let's see what happens here. Will he be able to take that baton and carry the team? Because look at Onyx. They're just relentless. Even after losing a 5v5, they still are on the pace. They are the one pushing forward. And RSG are the ones on the back foot. I gotta say, it's, it's all on that last call by Kyrie. Imagine yes. if the Lord yeah. went over to RSGSG. Could have been over because that's permanent buffs on your minions. Y you might not be able to get the inhibitor. More likely you were though because top lane, that's been worked on by Baby Cakes about past eight minutes. But talking about that one last call, Kyrie was gonna die anyways. There was no way that a Nathan from the jungle was gonna survive a 4v, uh, 1v4 like that. But just the same, that's what's kept Onik here still in the driver's seat and somehow still threatening a 3-0 sweep. But honestly, th th these fights are all going to come down to how Lolzy plays with the shields because you can see that he actually nullifies a lot of that damage. And now Lolzy already going in for the stun. It's going to be a lot of damage pace. And Boloiski is going to still be able to run away for now, but very low HP. That was a lot of damage taken, but he still manages to survive somehow. Merkel, you call it. During the draft, you already said that RSG, based on the draft, they want to play a front-to-back kind of team fight, and that's what they've been doing all this time. Lolzy being very, very confident, staying in the front, making sure that he tanks a lot of the damage, because as we can see, one of the things that I like to see during the RSG team fights is just that uh, the amount of juggling of damage. First, you can see that, oh, they're focusing heavy on LY4, and then the rest of the team's like, hey, hit me, hit me next, hit me! And this has become a problem where Onyx Philippines, it makes it very difficult for them to focus on anyone specifically just because RSG, they force the side of Onyx Philippines because a lot of the damage is basic attack damage. And yeah, RSG, they're handling the team fights so well right now. It's, it's honestly insane how they're playing these team fights, but remember, they gotta stay disciplined up until the very end because even though they've been winning these team fights so far, Onyx has been one step ahead every single time for the, say, for the side of the objectives. And that is, in the end, what wins you games. Mm -hmm. Off of the back of a great Numenon Blast and a Circling Eagle, RSGSG has just the perfect team fight if they can set it up. If they can set it up this whole time, Beloisi is trying to bait out these uh, ults, bait out these skills, and that's what he's doing here exactly. All the while, Delarski is splitting up the map. As you can see, 1-3-1. One, one. The members of RSGSG understand that the map is just as important, but Onyx PH, look at how fixated they are on this river. 
Oh, but they gotta be careful though. Look at the Esmeralda. He actually has some minion. Uh, I mean, tech just one minion. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be able to get something done, but yeah. I, I thought it was gonna be a minion with full HP, but no, it's only a one H, literally one bar minion. Let's see what happens here, because actually, again, on a Philippines with the inhibitor that they have been able to take early on, oh, it's a yeah. huge pressure spot for them. Right now, both the teams, they have to put on their dancing shoes, because right now it's a tango. The Lord is there. On the Philippines, they have the they have the situation where they can push to end. RSGSG, they really have to play this out well. You really hyper focus on the Lord, focusing on the team fight, but they have to look at the silence. This is going to be a long tangle. It is going to be an extremely long tangle. Look at the side lane pressure. Everyone is trying to micromanage everything right now. And it is going to be extremely hard for both teams. Very frustrating for anyone oh. as Lorsky already hitting onto that inhibitor turn the top side. Diablo actually wanted and he tried. He did. He was able to get that uh, pr the prio into that mid lane by cutting the waves. But now it is just an all out 1v1 in that Lord Pit as well. Not much of a fight. Both teams just poking, just looking for a right the right moment to go in. Because right now it is oh. actually going to pay for Onyx PH very much so with Larsky waiting in oh. the back. This can be it, guys. This might be the final fight. Whoever wins this one might win the series. Larsky jumps in onto two members for now. Not that, not a lot of damage placed as well. LY4 is actually going to go for the flanks. Not going to be able to get anything done. It's going to be Larsky backing away and he is taking a half HP. Not not half. He's taking a quarter of health right now. And Onyx, they're forced to back away now. The re-engage comes in for RSG. Far side went on to two. He's going to be able to connect onto Kyrie right now. Still has nowhere to go and he's going to get taken down. RSG with the comeback. They're going to be able to get two on the board, but it's only an immortality for now. The vengeance pop, and RSG will be able to pick up the Lord for free. Yeah, right now, what happened was RSG, SG, they full on engage, and Diablo actually managing to get onto Kyrie, getting onto multiple people, really slowed them down. And now for Baby Kicks to dish out the damage from the side of the Philippines, they really tried to bait out the Lord, but the Lolita, again, just having good positioning, making sure that Baby Kicks is alive. Because right now, Lozi is looking at the entire team. All of you? Yeah, you take care of yourself. I'm only going to take care of Adult Kicks right now. Adult Kicks with that flick shot, taking out Kyrie in quick fashion. It, it, it's got to be frustrating something awful here for Onyx PH because on paper, they should have the easier engages. They just need basic attacks. They just need that one holy baptism and Delarski to peel. But again, we just saw in that last big team fight, it took them about a minute and a half to try to find that perfect angle. They almost did, but just off of a single adult cakes engage, people just drop. I feel like the main reason for that is because on a they don't really have a reliable source of engage. Sure, they have the stun, but it's not reliable to get onto anyone, right? You need to flicker forward, you need to look for these crazy engages, whereas RSG, they can just go for Lol Lolzy can engage. We have Matilda, we have Paquito as well. Yeah, and the thing about the Lolita, again, we've been talking about Luminum Blast, you don't necessarily need to stun. Even the slow is enough. Absolutely, but look at this. The siege continues. RSG actually uh, Onik. We're really good at defending that. Falling Star went on to the back line, trying to zone away the members, but it is still Onik defending, and we still have a game on our hands. That was a beautiful defense by Onik PH. Taking away that Lord, I didn't even see it spawn. I mean, I did, but it just disappeared in that top side. Yeah, no, I saw exactly what Marky did. He planted like a bajillion glooms in one underneath and just cleaned the house with the help of hatred. So I understand now what RSGSG is doing. They know that they're the aggressors, they know that they're ahead about 4k. So what Onyx PH is trying to do here is trying to split them up, it, it, but it's not as easy. I, I see now how Onyx PH, their plan is so fragile in the face of a Numenon Blast. And I'm not even talking about a full-on hit, just the threat of activation spreads out the marksmen, the softies on the side of Onyx. This is, this is why I love Mobile Legends, man, because a hero that you did not thought would be good yeah. in the meta right now, it can really shift right back into it. This is amazing. I love the creativity coming in from all these players and the fact that they can use it up to this level just by having that one hero basically shutting down the Nathan as well as the Beatrix, which is, which is the main damage dealers, the main win condition for on, on the Philippines. This is great. Yeah, the last time we saw Lolita, it was M1. Literally, right? The last time we've seen it like being in a meta, like very constantly picked up, it was M1. And it's showing up again right here with none of the analysts predicting that this can come up like this. Basically 2019, two years yeah. ago, two years and change is when we last saw Lolita on top of the meta game. For now, she's slowly climbing back up and in, in so many games in just the group stage and even the playoffs here in M3, 
she was the game changer. And right now, that seems to be the case. It's so true. I'm proud of her. She's doing well. She is doing well, but Lolzi is doing also well with this hero. Let's see what they can do. 50 seconds on the clock for the Enhanced Lord to spawn once more. 19 minutes of gameplay already as Lolzi. That shielding has to be the main problem. 0 -315 on the roamer from RSGSG. He was here for about 75-80% almost of the team fights and the kills that RSGSG were able to win. That, that's got to be something. That's got to say something. As compared to the way he played in game one and game two, he's really setting the pace. He's really just everything that RSGSG needs at this point. Yeah, right now, even though oh. RSG, they are in front, they have to be careful, but they just revealed their positioning. Mark, if you're not careful, you're going to get caught. Yeah, but uh, this is because RSG wants to go for... Oh my oh, god, oh, damage! Oh case. my god! Oh my god! Was I think that we a need, bomb? You need to take back what you said about Clint's late game because that was disgusting. Oh. But already the black shoes popped right before of the Lord fight. You can take the orange buff. That's what we needed here in Lozi already. Look at that, man. Every single piece of basic attack even from Baby Cakes. So painful as now the Enhanced Lord has been started by RSG. Larsky once again on the flanks, not able to get anyone as of this moment as both teams will need to micromanage once again all the waves and the Lord at the same time. Yeah, they're looking for an in and uh, I'm guessing Baby Kicks right now, he's a barefoot Clint. The amount of damage he's outputting, yes. there's got to be no boots on this Clint. There's no space. It doesn't matter. He has evolved. Baby Kicks, Adult Kicks, now he's Daddy Kicks. You're coming oh. to him, <laughs> he's gonna take you down. All right, let's see what happens here. Will Daddy Kicks be able to come in to save the game? It is gonna be RSG once again with the early pressure. But look at that top side. They need to do something right now. Diablo already going in for the back side. It's gonna be Larsky canceling out Lolzi. But it is all a mix-up right now. RSG, they're actually caught in multiple situations. Oh! And the base is wide open right now. But look at the fight. Kyrie managed to get it one. It's gonna be him taking very, very low with the immortality power. Onto Lowe's. He's still able to deal some damage right now, but Sana, he goes back in right now. It is still Daddy Cakes coming in, trying to save the game, but he gets shut down. And Diablo, he's gonna be next. Kyrie with the Maniac. A masterclass in using the scramble to your advantage. Twice in a row, Onyx PH has been on the receiving end of Baby Cakes, Adult Cakes, Daddy Cakes, whatever you want to call him, his gun. Now, they were facing down the wrong barrel of the gun, man. RSGSG wiped out. They're gonna say goodbye to their base and they're gonna go down to the lower bracket. What have RSG? It was their game to lose. That won a team fight. That was, I would say, the messiest team fight that we've seen from the side of RSG, where it looks like they were pushing. I, I wasn't sure who were they focusing on. The focus was all over the place. And for our, for our analysts, if they're gonna analyze any kind of kind of aspect of the game, it definitely has to be that final team fight. I can't believe we carried this man through MCL yesterday. Kyrie, man, he 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 came to our team. We helped him out. We we made sure that he won MCL. <laughs>